2024 is going to be a great year for roller coaster enthusiasts. That's because we have some amazing looking new coasters opening over the next 12 months and here are the 10 most anticipated ones. And the best thing is Top Thrill 2 isn't even in the top 3. Starting off with number 10, Fire in the Hole which is located at Silver Dollar City. Not only will the new Fire in the Hole be popular among families, it's also going to be a ride for us enthusiasts because this is actually the only coaster that RMC is opening in 2024. The new indoor family coaster will feature mostly dark ride sections mixed in with a few coaster like sections, making for a coaster that features over 1,500 feet of track and a top speed of 26 miles an hour. Number 9, Palindrome, which is located at Coda Land. Even though this coaster was set to open up about a year ago now, it's finally in the process of getting built. This unique Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster will open with a 95 foot tall lift hill that features a wicked looking twisted first drop that leads into a zero g stall inversion that travels right over a road. The 51 miles an hour coaster will feature two inversions, a sideways airtime hill, and a very interesting spike that features this odd little bunny hop as the train begins to lose momentum near the top of the spike. But the most intriguing aspect of Palindrome is you get to experience the layout going forwards and then in reverse. The next coaster is the only one from Bolliger Mabillard, better known as B&M on this top 10. Number 8, Iron Menace Dorney Park. The Allentown, Pennsylvania Park is finally getting a new coaster. It's about time! But the best part is, Iron Menace will be worth the wait. This B&M mini dive coaster looks beautiful and the coaster is going to sport a very cool theme. One really cool thing about Iron Menace is that it's actually going to open up as America's first dive coaster that features a drop right after the chain lift which in my opinion adds to the excitement of the 160 foot tall coaster. Throughout the 2169 foot long coaster, riders will experience four inversions and speeds up to 64 miles an hour. Number 7, Flash Vertigo Velocity, which is opening at Six Flags Great Adventure. I have been predicting since 2021 that America would catch on to the Vacoma craze and start building more. And since then, we have seen a handful of new Vacomas make their way here. And Six Flags Great Adventure's Flash Vertical Velocity looks beautiful. I honestly cannot wait to get out to the park next summer to catch a ride on this Super Boomerang. And judging by this layout, this ride here is a coaster that I will not mind getting cloned at other parks around the country and the world. The only negative that I have with Flash Vertical Velocity is, oh, you know, the capacity. One train that holds only 24 riders. Now I do get it for smaller parks, but not one of the biggest regional parks in the entire country. But the good news is, once you see all the beautiful elements that you're going to encounter while you ride, it's very hard to complain about this 164 foot tall beauty. Number 6. Mahuka, which is located at Wallaby Roan Alps. Now at the time of this video, we do not know much about Intamin's second ever Hot Racer Singer Rail Coaster. All we really know is that the theming is going to be absolutely spectacular and the 1,968 foot long coaster will provide riders with airtime, inversions, quick transitions, and two launches. Coming in at number 5 is a coaster that has a lot of baggage and drama already and it's not even built yet. But the good news is, track is now on site and I predict that it's going to open up in the second half of 2024. Heading back to Texas for number 5, Circuit Breaker which is located at Codaland. If the Austin Park hurries, they do have a chance of opening the world's first new gen Vacoma tilt coaster. Circuit Breaker looks insane. From the whole tilt aspect, 
of just dangling there, waiting to drop 90 degrees to the twisted layout that follows. Vacoma is onto something, and this coaster, I think, honestly has a legit shot at being the best coaster in all of Texas when it opens. Now it's very important, if you're enjoying this video, then all I ask that you do is please take a second and give it a like. And if you're not enjoying this video, then all I ask that you do is please take a second and give the video a like as well. Also, be sure to become the newest Theme Park Prediction subscriber so you don't miss out on my next video and a chance to win some free coaster merch. Now here's a look at a few honorable mentions before I share the top 4 most anticipated coasters of 2024. And the first one is Andromeda Base, which is located at Gentine Skyworlds. And then you have Penguin Track, which is located at SeaWorld Orlando, and Phoenix Rising, the B&M Inverted going down to Busch Gardens, Tampa. And lastly, Hot Wheels Twin Mill Racer, which is opening in Arizona at the brand new Mattel Adventure Park. Now here's the thing, I based this list off of all the information available at the time of this video. So for new coasters that are planning on opening in 2024 that either do not have a name and or we don't really know anything about them, they're not on this list. With that being said, number 4 might come in as a surprise for you, but it is Top Thrill 2 which is located obviously at Cedar Point. I am very excited about Cedar Point's new Zamperla LSM coaster. Honestly, I am. The 420 foot tall spike just looks epic and this head chopper is going to be one of the most talked about parts of Top Thrill 2. As long as the world's second tallest coaster does not offer much downtime, I predict we're looking at a coaster that will become the favorite at Cedar Point by many. Oh Intamin, oh Intamin. This next coaster is on another level and one that is not talked about much and that's because it's hard to find any information about it. But it's getting built at the moment and thanks to experience adventures, we know what to expect from this twisted Intamin. Number 3, Turbo Turtle Power which is located at Nickelodeon Universe in China. This might just become the world's best coaster that's located indoors. Now check out this stat line. Riders will experience a drop of 142 feet, as well as two different launches, speeds of 62 miles an hour, and an impressive eight inversions. Mixed in with all that is the air time. Overall, Turbo Turtle Power, if it wasn't located in China, and if it was easier for most of us to get to, would become an instant top 25 coaster for most of us. Number 2, Hyperia, located at Thorpe Park. After 30 years, the 213 foot tall big one is no longer the tallest coaster in the UK. This is Hyperia, the all new mock hypercoaster that offers the most insane looking layout for a hypercoaster ever created. Standing at a whopping height of 236 feet, this coaster will not only feature the world's best drop on a hyper, but also most likely the world's best drop on any coaster when you're riding in the very back row. Throw in some twisted inversions and some airtime and you have Hyperia, a roller coaster that is already in my top 25 and it's not even open yet. And now we have come to that time for number one, which is the world's first ever striker coaster. This is Voltron and it's located at Germany's Europa Park, featuring 4,544 feet of mock rides goodness, elements like a dark show section, a LSM lift hill, a inside top hat, three core screws, an Immelman, multiple LSM launches, a turntable, followed by a zero-g stall, and then a dive loop, and mix that in with a junior scorpion tail and an outside top hat. These are the ingredients for a top 10 roller coaster and I guarantee you that Europa Park's new for 2024 coaster will be just that. Hyperia and Voltron are going to really shake up this list of the craziest coasters that you can find in Europe. And trust me, you don't want to miss out on that video so be sure to watch it. So which 2024 coaster are you looking forward to most? Let me know in the comments 
And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.